That was great. Yeah, it was great. Marcy. That did sound great. Well, not bad. Welcome home. Welcome back to uh, England. Welcome back to the United Kingdom. Thank you. Do you miss it when you're not here? I do miss it, yes. What do you miss There's about it? certain things I miss. I miss um, British people. Uh -huh. And I miss very small things and very silly things and uh, British television and um, the arts. What sort of TV do you miss then? What shows do you miss? From I television? just miss television generally because in America, television is just for children. Oh, really? Oh, yes. <laughs> well, no, but they have some great shows. No, they don't. What about ER? <laughs> well, you've just sort of answered your own question. What the? <laughs> what, about, what about a West Wing? Uh, well, exactly. That's a great show. I think you would just strengthen my argument. If, so. he was the, if he was the president, we'd all be very happy, wouldn't we? Well, if anybody was the president other than, we'd be very happy. Yeah, I'm accused of that. Do you, um, <laughs> do you, are you um, registered to vote in the US? Do you vote over here? Do you vote anywhere? I don't vote anywhere. I, I don't have enough faith, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm like most people in the world, I have no faith. Well, we got serious quite early, didn't we? That was my fault, I feel. Um, can, I call you, can I call you Stephen? No. Why? why? <laughs> I, th I thought we'd already we'd become friends here and then... Yeah, now but you're... Stephen doesn't mean friends to me. Does it not? Does Nothing. it not? No. Stephen. No. But that was your name when you were a little boy? When I was small, yeah. But, but I wasn't a very happy little boy. So, so that's why you, you changed your name? You just wanted to distance yourself yes. from your past? Yeah, which I thought was quite clever. And so you're just... Everyone calls you Marty now? <laughs> everybody. Priests. Uh, everybody. What about on your passport and your driver's licence? It says Mozza. It, no, does it mean... <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't. Uh, it just says M. It can, really does. Can, can we be friends after the show? I don't think so. Oh, well, we're... <laughs> <it's fine. laughs> <laughs> Why not? Well, you, you have so many friends. But no, but yeah, and you don't have enough, so I'm going to share with you. But also, you, you have Oscar Wilde's haircut. What's wrong with that? <laughs> you see, I have a bone to pick with you. You're still sticking with the quiff, and let's face it, you know, that's the last year's thing, man. Well, you know, when you get to my age, Jonathan, if you still have hair, it's incredible. <laughs> so, I'm not complaining. Don't you think this Townsford boyish look works for me? No, I don't. Oh. <laughs> um, now, Marcy has a new album out. It's actually not out just yet, is it next it's week? It's out on Monday. Ah, oh, I'm telling you, the album is great, OK? Uh, a few people here may have heard it already. It's called You Are The Quarry, OK? It's great. It's very, very good. I think it's your best solo album. I think it is. Well, I think it's my best ever album. Well, <laughs> it's fantastic. It really is. It's your, is this your tenth solo album, I believe? I think it's about 50 seconds. <laughs> uh, OK, when I finished listening to it, I sat down and listened to it in entirety. This is how good it is. I nearly cried. Well, why didn't you cry? Because it wasn't <laughs> quite that good. <laughs> no, no, because, because I like most men of my age, I like to hold something back. For, for when? For when you're my friend. <laughs> uh, we'll talk about this later. Uh, do you have a lot of people trying to kind of worm their way into your favour? Because you kind of, you know, seem someone who it, it isn't easy to get close to. Mm. Therefore, it's all the more enticing and all the more tempting to try and get close. Really? Yes. No, I've not noticed that, to be honest. <laughs> Do you find it easy to let new friends into your life? Uh, no, I don't. It takes me a long time with people. I'm, um, I'm very slow. <laughs> And do you like do you like having new friends? I don't like people, to be honest. <laughs> um, how many friends have you got? Seven. Do you have that? <laughs> really, seriously? Yeah, seven. You do strike me as the sort of person who could name and number their friends quite clearly. Well, yeah. I have a couple of friends who I've been friends with for over twenty years, and um, as time goes by, they become more important to me. I get the feeling you're someone who doesn't suffer fools particularly gladly. Oh, never. I mean, it's a waste of time. So you would be quite daunting company, I would have thought. Yes, extremely, which is um, why lots of people don't like me. And do you never feel like, well, I'll soften it a bit tonight, I'll turn on the old Mozza charm and make them feel good? <laughs> there is no Mozza charm. Oh, <laughs> well, there must be some. There absolutely is not, no. There really isn't. And, and say when someone leaves, say you met a new person, OK? Yeah. When they leave, when, they, when you shut the door and you're relieved to be a, alone again, I imagine. Yes. Okay. Do you think, oh, I wish I'd been a bit nicer? <laughs> Uh, I don't recall ever feeling that way. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. I mean, I, I just wonder what took them so long to leave. That's, <laughs> the, that's really the basic thought. But you see, once again, we're very similar. Yes. I can't wait for people to leave. 
<laughs> but you love people. Yes, but only in very small bursts. And you stand before this audience and you love them and you shout to them and blah, 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 blah. And... It's a professional relationship we have. But you perform in front of an audience and you love the audience when they're there applauding you. And... In my case, Jonathan, it's not performing. I don't perform ever. <laughs> you big old liar. It's, it's absolutely true. I don't perform. I've seen you waving your arms around and that's pretending performance. and doing all that. That's, that's real. Come on. That's real life. Loza. Oi. <laughs> Jonathan. There must be moments when you think, oh, I'm no, fancy, I, I, I'll just fake it a bit. I've said it before, only seals perform. So you really, you give it, it's the genuine emotion? Yes. Well, you must be exhausted at the end of a tour. Yes, absolutely. But that's nice, isn't it? What about people who work with you? Uh, what kind of relationship do you have with them then? Does that ever blur and you ever feel awkward that it's, they want to be more friendly and you don't want to let them closer? Yeah, it's happened in the past. It has happened in the past. <laughs> We're talking about a long time ago, I imagine, then. No. No, recently? No, um, it has happened. It, it, it does become difficult sometimes. Um, but um, then it ends, remarkably, when they find out what I'm really like. <laughs> what are you really like, then? What do you I mean by that? I've got no idea. Say you're in for the evening alone, in Los Angeles, where you currently live most of the time. Yes. And you don't watch TV, we've established that. Yes. What would you do with your time? What would you...? Well, I'd do very normal things. I'd listen to music, eat, and uh, listen to the radio. You are, I think, sorting out now, aren't you? You seem on a more well, even it's... keel than previously. Well, Jonathan, as you know, it's age. Yeah. And it does quite comforting things, it as does. well as very distressing things. Because you're now 45 or 44? 70. <laughs> I am. I think you've always been 70 inside, though, haven't you? No, I'm just, I'm just a little bit older than you. Yeah, a tiny bit older. And yeah. I'll be honest with you, I think you only look a little bit worse than me. I think we're, we're looking... <laughs> but you, but what, you've got a good physique on you. you. Do you work out now? No, never, never, never. You but... look quite muscular now. Well, um, I don't eat flesh. Now, you've never eaten flesh, have you? Uh, well, I did for t until I was 11. So um, that keeps me quite healthy. Now, so when you were 11, when the turning point came, I know you've talked about this, uh, what was it that turned you off the concept of, of eating meat? Well, it's so cruel. And I've never heard a good argument for eating animals, ever. And you can't say, well, it tastes nice, because it doesn't until you stick, you garnish it and stick salt and pepper, you fry it, you grill it, blah, 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 blah. But nobody just kills an animal and eats it straight away. <laughs> no. You wouldn't want to do that. Well, no, but why, why, think, why don't they? I think if Dale was in a hurry one night and it wasn't yet defrosted, <laughs> he possibly would suck on a chicken leg or something. Yes, I, I think you're correct. Yeah. And